I'm on the vibes right now, I was listening to Hey, 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 but not like the cops be bad Great question that I want to ask y'all The question is What would you do if you walked in the house And you caught your significant other Girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the fuck Having sex with your friend Ooh, that's so nasty Oh, I seen it, it was on a post Somebody sent it to me Hey, yo, shoot the commercial real quick What up, what up, y'all? This your dope boy, Troy I am A.K.A. the Notorious A.V.E. And I want everybody to go check out Goddard's Great Paper Straight.com. This episode is sponsored by GIGPS, the brand. Stay blessed, uh, uh, stay less stressed in your GIGPS. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure that when you go in there, you go check out. We got the new blue sweatsuit, you know what I'm saying? The all gray with the blue. And we got the Red October series out right now. But the key, the key, here's the major key. That's what we like to do. We like to save money because the only way to have money is to save money. Make sure you use the 20% off code. It's called The Facto Show. I want everybody to save money. I want everybody to get money. But make sure y'all go and support. God is great. Paperstraight.com is right here on the screen. Use the 20% off code. Support the brand, y'all. Word. Okay, and we're back, and we're back, and we're back. And we're back. I feel blessed. I didn't give y'all a proper intro, man. Mm. On another note... I was sipping the best champagne that I've ever had in my life. It's a Pinot Noir Rose. I hope I said that right. It's the best champagne I ever had in my life. I've been drinking champagne for like at least like 15 years now. It's fact though. And this is the best I ever had in my life. I'm not going to say the brand because I want to reach out to them and see if I can turn it into a check. I want to endorse this brand. It's amazing. Mm. I was drinking it through the night. And then this, this is my second bottle I'm on. I was drinking it through the night and now in the morning I added some orange juice. It's mimosa. You're not an alcoholic if you put orange juice in the drink, right? Bloody Mary. Well, that's tomato juice. Any type of juice that goes in the drink. Tomato juice and orange juice makes you not an alcoholic. Anyway, back to this topic. So I got a, uh, somebody sent me a um joint. One of my homegirls, she sent me some shit. And it was a guy. It might have been on Hip Hop Overload or whatever. Shout out to them too. Shout uh, what the fuck? I I forgot what I was saying. But anyway, shout out to my man City at Hip Hop Overload. But it was a a guy. He videotaped himself walking in to a bedroom, and he found his pregnant girl fucking his best friend. And his response was, "Oh, and you supposed to be pregnant by me? You supposed to be pregnant by me? On blah blah blah. I'll turn up in this bitch. You know how people like to say on whoever's dead on." Fucking uh, Paul Newman, I'll turn up in this bitch on uh, Mr. T's not dead. Who's dead? Who's a dead person, Jess? Tell me a dead person on uh, uh, Biggie. <laughs> oh, you can't say old Biggie, man. Don't say that. But they say, on Biggie, I'll turn up in this bitch. But anyway, that's what that he said on somebody. I couldn't make him out. I'll turn up in this bitch. He didn't turn up, nevertheless. He, yo, get off of me. He told the homeboy, get off of me. And he said, You supposed to be pregnant by me? And he was beefing or whatever. So my question to y'all is, mm, what would you do if you walked in and you saw your pregnant girl, or not even pregnant, if you saw your girl, you saw your boyfriend, whoever, fucking your friend? What would you do? I'm sure you leave all the comments. Let me know. Would you turn up on blah, blah, blah? On grandma, I'll turn up. <laughs> on great grandma. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, on Sojourner Truth, I'll turn up in this bitch. i turn up on Martin Luther King, I'll turn up in this bitch. Oh, fuck it. Well, John F. Kennedy, I'll turn up in this bitch. You got to, you can't say on somebody's grave and don't turn up after. I mean, come on, that's fucked up. Man. That's like swearing to God. People who swear to God be the most liars. That's a fact, though. I don't understand it. You got to stop. You got to be stopped. But let me tell you what I would do. I myself have never been in that situation because I'm not a sucker. But... You know, if I ever did find myself in that situation, let me explain to you what I would do. So let's take the pregnancy out of it. Let's just say you walk in. You walk into a house. There's so many variables, so many questions, so little answers. Like, was it his house? Did he walk into the, his homeboy's house? Was it a hotel? Like, what? did she live in a building and it's downstairs? Like, an interesting story. I once, I once uh, killed this neighbor when I used to live in his building. 
And it's so nuts. That's a long story for a whole nother day. I'm not even going to say it right now. But anyway, if I walked in, if I walked into, I don't think it was his house, man. That was She's a bold bitch if she was fucking in his house. Maybe he walked into the homie house. What these niggas be doing? Going to play video games, some 2K? Yo, boy, I got the new 2K. Yo, it's lit. <laughs> then he walked in the door. But he had his phone out, so somebody must have tipped him off. It was a snitch. There was a snitch inside the house. Probably a... You know who it was? I know what the scenario probably is. It was probably homeboy's sister or maybe the girl's sister. She really want to fuck him. So she was like, see, this bitch ain't shit. She in here fucking... My brother, or she in here fucking, you know what I mean? And he came through. He busted open the door. He had his camera out. First of all, I'm not trying to record nothing. I'm not trying to. It's so much sucky shit in that situation. It's like you bust open the door, you're going to record. What are you trying to embarrass her? I'm going to show the world that she's a whore? No, bro. No. No. No, 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 no. You're only embarrassing yourself. What are you saying? Wait, there's a fucking, it was a fly here. Try to Mike Pence my shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking try to Mike Pence my shit. I ain't full of shit. Don't land on me. I don't know who's more full of shit. Mike Pence or Kamala Harris. I don't know. I'm confused. How they say it in Memphis? I'm confused. I'm confused at this point. I'm really confused. <laughs> Shout out to Memphis. Shout out to Tennessee, bro. I fuck with Tennessee. Mm. Okay. So, I walk in. If I ever had been in a situation, I walk in. And I see a homie. Let's let's just say I'm going to their house for whatever reason. And I walk in, and because there's different rules if it's your house and it's their house. But you walk in somewhere on some cheetah shit without the cameras. You got your video camera. And I see a friend of mine, fucking a girlfriend of mine. Hmm. First of all, I'm not a sucker, so I'm not gonna be like, you know, that head over heels. Um, what would I do? Honestly, I'd probably be like. I would have the, you know, the squinted eye face. We'd be like, the fuck? You know what I mean? You got to, whenever some wild shit going on, you got to have the squinted eye face. But then, do you have the squinted eyes if you got tipped off and you knew what you was walking into? Like, can you have that still? I don't think so. It's it's so much things that would stop you before you even get to that point. Like, this bitch doing what? what? But say you walked in on accident. I'd be like, what the fuck? Type shit. Then I'll probably I'm gonna act like I'm there in a situation. Hey, dang, he was a no good ass hoe. It's crazy, oh man, that's nuts. I'm not wiping my eyes because I'm I would be crying. I'm wiping my eyes because I got allergies and my shit is itching. And you see how I'm wiping it with the with the nub. This is the nub. Shout out to my man Joey number nine. They call him number nine because he blew one of his fingers off when he was uh. Playing with firecrackers before, so his name Joey Number Nine, best contract in in fucking New York. So I'm wiping it with the nub. You can't dig in your eye. You gotta nub it so you know be all red, looking like Mike Pence. Anyway, I walk in and I'll be like, the fuck type of whole shit, the nigga you disloyal ass nigga type of shit. Then what I would do is I would violate him. Probably wouldn't beat him up. I would violate him like, you know, rob him, take whatever. Because we're no longer friends at this point. It's like being in a fight with somebody. If you're in a fight with somebody and you got on a chain, you could take the chain. Because it's a fight. There's no limit. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. So I would, I would, I would violate. I, I would fuck up, fuck up the crib. Right? Do something. I wouldn't really beat, I wouldn't really beat the chick. Maybe what what you say is a slap is is like a slap. A slap is probably right. Just this is a woman I'm talking to. She said a slap is warranted. Maybe a slap. You're like fucking whole bitch, but not a slap like your rage. Oh, I'm gonna kill you all. It's like a slap like you stupid hoe type of fucking. If you would be doing this, we could sell a pussy. You know what I'm saying? Fucking this nigga for free. This nigga borrow money from me. This is crazy. But I wouldn't be. All outraged and be yelling and all uh, like, man, listen, man. One thing life has told me is that it's plenty more where that came from. That's a fact, though. You can't be on no sucker shit. Like, what you gonna do? You gonna kill homeboy? 
leave her alive because you fake still love her and you're heartbroken. You go to jail and she's just going to be fucking the next dick. This shit don't stop. There's plenty more where that came from. Don't be a sucker. So that's what I would do. I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even care, especially if I had to go drive the cat. If somebody said, yo, your girl's fucking touch touch right now, and it's a credible source, I'm just going to believe it. I'm not going to go drive to the destination to catch them in the act. What's the difference? I got to catch them in the act. I don't give no fucks. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a friend where they doing something, they get to the money, yeah, I'm robbing them. That's a fact. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to make it I'm gonna make it profitable for me. I'm not going to just be out here... Fucking fighting and arguing and getting upset and all kind of shit for no reason. Like, oh, some pussy dog, you crazy. This is where foolish pride, man. We can't let our foolish pride get in the way. End of the day, end of the day, everybody that said he loyal is not going to be loyal. And then when people ain't loyal, can't be all really, you can't be, that's their choice. You don't control people's choices, no matter how much you think you do. You don't control women's pussy, no matter how much you think you do. Ladies, y'all know y'all don't control no dick. <laughs> no, you're not the snake charmer. You're not in fucking Indonesia. You cannot charm the snake, ever. The snake has his own mind. He does what the fuck he want to do. Even the pussy whip. I got a homeboy that's pussy whip like a motherfucker. He's going to see this. He know who I'm talking about. You know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. But even he can't be state child. He still go all over the state and do whatever the fuck he want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, all, all for that. Um, That's what I would do. I would fucking not give a fuck. Like, it is what it is, dog. Nine times out of ten, when I got the call, I'd be with another bitch anyway. Hello? Yeah. Bitch doing what? Hold, hold on, baby. Hold on. Yeah, what? Where, where they at? You sure? Send me a video. Yeah. yeah I'm, uh, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna, let me call you back. Uh. You feel me? That's how I'm living. I'm not on no sucking shit, man. I just can't do it. I swear I can't do it, man. All right. Let's just move right along. Get off of that. Get off of that. On to some other shit real quick. Uh, you know what? Right now, I wanted uh Josh usually give me a whole bunch of topics that I got to talk about or whatever current event shit. Um, I'll run straight through them. But first, one I want to talk about is one of my favorite songs and one of the participants of the group. I got new shoes on my ride, yes sir. Swimming down ninety five, yes sir. Show the young getting right, yes sir. And she don't want to ride, and you ain't gotta make love until you know that you know, until you know. When God is paper straight in the cup, your body, my body, your body, your body, I'm burning up, your body. Yo, body, 24 million turning up. Shout out to Baby Blue from Pretty Ricky, man. That brother got caught up in some bullshit where he scammed the government, the good MAGA Make America Great Again government out of 24 million COVID dollars. Mm. Round of applause if you home watching to that, man. Round of motherfucking applause. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we going to go on the round ball. Round ball. Mm. It got to be a short round of applause because he got caught. Round of applause to other, other people, to all the other people getting away with it. People done came to me with that scheme and shit like, yo, you know you got a business you should No, no, no. Hold up, Ice Cream Chuck. Hold up, Ice Cream Chuck. I don't want to get involved in no shit with the government. I don't want no IRS, no FBI shit. No. I'm going to just pay my motherfucking taxes and I'm just mind my fucking business. Because all you niggas getting that COVID money, guess what? The government always got a way of getting his shit back. The government is like gambling. They like the house. They going to make their money back. You might get it now, but they going to get you later on. That's a fact. It's like going to a casino. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Dead ass. So, apparently, uh, Baby Blue got caught up and he smoked him for $24 million or he was a part of a $24 million ring or whatever, whatever. Um, uh, um, he's arrested right now. Free him. I uh, hope they give him a bail. Um, they gave fucking Derek Chauvin a bail. He's free on $1 million bail. So, um, 
I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's see. Let's play Jeopardy. No matter of fact, let's play fucking Family Feud. We asked 100 people. I'm doing my Steve Harvey impression. We asked 100 people. He he he. That's right. Got on alligator shoes. We asked 100 people. <laughs> With Derek Chauvin, the man who murdered uh George Floyd, gets out of prison. What would they do if they saw him? <laughs> and number one, <laughs> fucking absolutely nothing. Uh, when you go out on bail, all your shit is public information. So all the protesters and all the outraged people, yeah, I know where you live at. You know, you could do a witch hunt. You could come in like how they used to do in the fucking 1800s. Show up outside your house with the fucking pitchforks and the fire burning. Let bring them out here. Bring them out here. He ain't got enough money. They're not gonna. He, he, they're not gonna have 24 hour security on him. You know what I'm saying? All his information is public record. I go protest in front of his house. You know what I'm saying? If you want, I'm not telling you to do that. But you know what I mean? I want to know what's gonna happen. So I'm trying to say we be having all this aggression uh, towards towards each other. Like I said in the song, um, people quick to argue, pull a weapon out of dresser. Uh, police doing worse. We don't pull weapons on oppressors. So Derek Chauvin is free. He's on a million dollar bail. I wonder who the fuck paid that. Whoever paid that should be violated too, in my opinion. And um, you know, go see that man. Uh, so that all went in with the bail that hopefully Baby Blue gets bail and it's not a million dollars because he didn't fucking kill an unarmed black man and when he's supposed to be uh protecting the, the the people and end up murdering them. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of shit going on in this COVID shit, man. This is nuts, actually. And speaking of COVID. I want to talk to y'all about COVID really, really quick. If you didn't come out of this COVID, Corona-19, all kind of shit, if you didn't come out of this shit with more hustle, more drive, more understanding, more foresight, look, here go this shit trying to, trying to Mike Pence me again. <laughs> Those be the, that's the little bugs of getting the wine. But if you ain't come out this shit with more hustle, more realization of self, uh, all kind of shit. If this shit didn't make you a better person, then you're weak. You're weak, and not only are you weak, you're stupid. That's a fact, though. Um, and There's no need for you. You might as well hang it up. The world is overpopulated, as it is. That's a fact. You're just taking up space. You feel me? You taking you taking up space. You you taking up fucking space in a in a luxury building that I might want to live in because you gotta get a fucking What's that shit called when they take the lottery and they win and they got the... What's that shit with it? It's like a lottery and the people get a... Oh my gosh, it's like something living where they give you... Everybody else could be paying $4,000 a month, but they got to give 15% of the building of the units to somebody who's going to pay $800 a month. But that's what the fuck you doing with no hustle. You fucking up the whole game. Right now And this is nuts Um So you might as well Hang it up I don't need you Taking jobs Out of my kids mouth When they get older You feel me I don't need you I don't I don't wanna be on the road And I stop at the rest stop And you fucking Holding up the line In the bathroom Fucking I'm trying to get I don't piss in the Stand up thing I like to go inside I don't need One of you bums Holding shit up Taking a dump Get your fucking toes out In the sandals And shit you know what I mean? If you ain't, if this COVID nineteen Corona shit ain't teach you to be a hustler, get your bag up to not only be ready but to stay ready. You you are stupid. You's a sucker. You's a dummy. You should hang it up. You's a bum. I know how I feel about bums. I got no empathy, no sympathy for bums. If God bless you with your health, you know how much people don't have their health, and you got your health. You got good health. Your arms work. Your legs walk. And you ain't gonna go out and get you a fucking job? You ain't gonna go out and make a way? You gotta be kidding me, B. This is nuts. <laughs> so, no sympathy for these bums. I urge everybody. Still, we still in this corona shit. Don't get it fucked up. Find you a way. And make sure you 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 uh make sure you self-contained. You rely on yourself. I don't give a fuck if you start 
planting plants in your in your backyard in your house. Put some dirt, put some soil. Make a room full of soil to plant you some vegetables. Like it ain't I don't wanna hear about you niggas waiting on a stimulus check. What if it don't come? Then what? What if Trump say right now and it, he playing games with y'all right now. He's saying, Yeah, I'm gonna sign a stimulus thing. Oh, I'm not gonna sign it. What if all you have to do is vote for him for twelve hundred dollars? So you telling me you such a dick sucker that you're gonna go against everything that you believe in for twelve hundred cash? Are you dumb? Are you fucking dumb? I don't wanna hear you can't have your hand in your chest out. That's what a lot of you motherfuckers have. Don't be all oh, fuck you, we hate you, and then be waiting on a stimulus check. Don't do that. Just have no opinion. Just be an, a fucking citizen of America. I, I'm taking what's co- what's coming to me, and that's it. I'm a citizen. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on with this shit. Y'all need to watch this documentary called uh, Hillary's America. You need to watch it. Trust me. And trust me. Well, this Democrat, Republican shit, a lot more of us would be Republicans if we knew what was really up. We'll touch on that on another episode. But... Trust me, just go Amazon Prime, it's called Hillary's America. Let's shoot to a commercial, I'll be right back. I'm going to give y'all the NFL picks, and I'm going to run through some of these stupid-ass topics that Josh always like to get me to talk about for fucking current events and dumb shit. But more importantly is the NFL picks. Because we get to the money, it's all about the motherfucking money. I'll be right back, y'all. What up, what up, it's your boy Choi Yaev. Um, Just want to let y'all know this episode of the Facto Show it's powered by BSP Records. BSP Records is the number one independent label on the East Coast. We're giving out distribution deals, y'all. Check out the number right below. If you are a loyal artist who got your own money, you work hard, you dedicate it, and you want to go out and get it, hit us up. We're going to partner up and do something. You know what I'm saying? Um, got our eyes on some people. I ain't even going to name them yet, but they coming. That's a fact, though. But uh, that's it. BSB Records got a couple of records. Uh, we got the new um, what you call it? Troy Ave Volume Two out. Working on that New York City the album too as well. So all you dope producers out there who got beats, send them on in. We giving opportunities. You heard? Check us out. <laughs> 